Honey Badger don't care. Those four words have become a cultural and political touchstone, all because of this little guy, the most famous, most viewed honey badger in the world. Now, typical online videos get a few thousand views. This chippy narration of the daily life of a honey badger went viral, drawing over 80 million views. And it's in the news tonight because of a legal battle that has actually reached the highest federal court on the West Coast. Now, if you've never seen this original video, before we go any further, here's how it all started. This is the honey badger. Watch it run in slow motion. A snake's up in the tree. Honey badger don't care. Honey badger don't give a shit. Just takes what it wants. Here's a house full of bees. You think the honey badger cares? It doesn't give a shit. Get away from me, says the snake. Get away from me. Honey badger don't care. Honey badger smacks the shit out of it. Now the voice you're hearing there is my next guest, Christopher Gordon, still cracking himself up. Honey Badger has also become part of our politics. Donald Trump's own advisors have talked up his classic Honey Badger qualities. And Mr. Gordon, before we get to your case, I do want to play for you some of the times that journalists have covered our current bizarre era through the lens of your Honey Badger. <laughs> We compared the elected Republicans of the great state of Michigan to the honey badger. Because Michigan Republicans do not give a bleep. He said, run for governor. You get your own residence. <laughs> He's in the, as Rick said, the honey badger <laughs> portion of yeah, the right. yeah. This is what a honey badger presidency looks like. Because honey badger don't care. <laughs> honey badger narrator Christopher Gordon is here along with his successful lawyer Daniel Rebeck. Chris, I guess the first question is, uh, do we all owe you royalties for talking about the honey badger in the news? <laughs> Ari Badger, if I may, because you are you oh, please. are. Please. You may. <laughs> you just take what you want. <laughs> uh, they <laughs> the honey badger uh, doesn't care because it has to not care in order to live. So Honey Badger doesn't care because it has to not care, uh, whereas opposed to a lot of the folks in our administration don't care because they They just, choose not to. Thank you. You're talking about the difference between animals being animals for survival because yes. they're animals yes. and people sometimes acting like crazy animals, which is a choice. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate the, the, the insight you bring yes. to that. I'm going to read from this decision that you got here. This is not just Honey Badger drama, everyone. This is a real appeals court case. And the court says it cannot be that the defendants, this company, mm -hmm. uh, can copy a trademark that's your Honey Badger into their greeting cards without adding their own artistic expression and claim the same First Amendment protection as their original artists. And, and Daniel, that goes to why this is in the news. You guys are arguing that people might be able to satirize or add to the honey badger, but they can't just swipe it and not pay him. That's exactly, that's right. So what the Ninth Circuit, or as Baba Bowie would say, the Ninth Circuit, what they wrote is that the defendants in this case copied verbatim my client's trademark into the greeting card, and they, they largely pasted it, was to use the language of the court, now, what the defendants in this case were trying to do was to use 50 cents line. They were get rich or die trying. And now we get to go back and have our day in court. Christopher, as an, as an improv artist, I never knew how painful it was to watch a lawyer try to jam hip hop into unrelated segments <laughs> until watching Daniel. I feel like I'm looking in a mirror um, and my self-esteem is dropping. No offense, Daniel. Sorry. Sorry. No offense. I thought you were my twin. <laughs> Um, Christopher, on the point about people not caring and mm -hmm. Trump's own aides invoking this, it's one thing to use it as an attack on him. Sure. But it's his own people saying that, not just his, not just uh, journalists or observers. Yeah. Um, and, and we collected times where Trump does say more than the average politician. He, mm -hmm. he talks about not caring a lot. Take a look. I don't care about Megyn and Kelly. She should probably apologize to me, but I just don't care. I don't care what it is because it doesn't matter to me. I think he's a nice person. But I don't care. I don't want to be a nasty guy, but I don't care anymore. We have to get the right people in. I don't care. <laughs> is that Honey Badger? Is that classic Honey Badger A? And B, do you believe him? Because I think as, a, as an artistic person, you have an interesting read on things. Do you believe yeah. him? Or is he more like a middle schooler <laughs> who is insisting they don't care about what people say about them because they care so much? I got to say, the one thing that just really drives me nuts, sorry, I'm so sorry, is about this administration is putting citizens' lives in danger by the denial of global warming, uh, loss of habitats. Uh, bees are presently endangered. Uh, so for me, uh, when I hear him say, I don't care, I, I believe he truly doesn't care. I know honey badgers, Ari, and Donald Trump is no honey badger. Well, there it is. I heard a trademark right there. <laughs> 
I mean, can we take Trump to court? Is this a real? Is this a real television news segment? Uh, or are we all dreaming? That's nasty. <laughs> that's just really nasty. Hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here, or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us, and we appreciate that.